Well, joining me now to weigh in is the president of Family Research Council, our good friend, Tony Perkins. Tony, good to have you with us tonight. Thank you, Todd. Good to be with you. Tony, I think uh, we do have a big job ahead of us, making sure that we get out the vote on Election Day. What was your takeaway from last night's debate? Well, actually, Todd, I, I thought for a moment I'd stepped into Burger King because there were so many whoppers being served up in terms of the lies that were being told. And, and I want to drill down on one that you made reference to where uh, Lindsey Davis weighs in you know, throw in one of those punches at the at the president about his comments about late term abortion and where the Democrats want to take this country with abortion all the way up till birth and beyond. They're fact checking ABC and the vice president. There are 15 states in this country that allow abortion up. Uh, if a child is born alive as a result of a botched abortion, they can kill them. They can die. They ha they do not have to provide any medical aid. In fact. The vice president's running mate, Tim Walls, as governor of Minnesota, signed into law a law removing a provision in the state of Minnesota that required doctors to provide aid to a child who was born alive. So that, that's probably why she wanted to sidestep this issue is because she has one of the most radical running mates in the country. And, and let's take a look at what President Trump had to say last night on the abortion issue. I'm not signing a ban, and there's no reason to sign a ban, because we've gotten what everybody wanted, Democrats, Republicans, and everybody else, and every legal scholar wanted it to be brought back into the states, and the states are voting, and it may take a little time, but for 52 years, this issue has torn our country apart, and they've wanted it back in the states, and I did something that nobody thought was possible. The states are now voting. What she says is an absolute lie. And as far as the abortion ban, no, I'm not in favor of abortion ban, but it doesn't matter because this issue has now been taken over by the states. Tony, how do you how do you respond to what the president had to say there? Well, I, I, overall, last night, I thought the president did very well on pressing the issue of the sanctity of human life and drawing the contrast and showing how extreme the Democrats are on this issue. Now, I, I don't see it exactly the same way as former President Trump sees it, but I thought last night he executed well in drawing the contest, contrast. In fact, he asked the vice president, at what point will you draw the line? Is it seven months? Is it eight months? Is it nine months? And she never would answer the question. At what point would you protect an unborn child? She could not answer the question. The reason is because the Democrats do support abortion all the way up until birth, and in some cases beyond. And Tony, the other story here, and I'm, I'm reading a correction that was just issued by Time Magazine. Uh, even the moderators got this wrong. Uh, President Trump pointed out that Kamala Harris is on the record supporting using taxpayer money to provide transgender operation surgeries for illegal aliens in prison. Right. Uh, they said that wasn't true. It turned out to be true. Time magazine issuing a statement uh, correcting it this evening. But again, that was the whole uh, M.O. last night. They were not correcting any of these factual errors, these lies. Right. And, and, and this is where I think, the, as you said, the, the public does not trust the legacy media because it was very clear when you look at the two moderators that they were teaming up repeatedly on the president, whether it was immigration, whether it was the sanctity of human life, whatever the issue was, they were actually helping uh, Kamala Harris execute her case in, in this debate. Tony, let's talk about, about these voters. You call them sage cons. G give our Newsmax viewers uh, a quick definition of what that term means and why those voters are so important in November. Well, Todd, the sage cons are the spiritually active, governance-engaged conservatives. These are people who enter into the political arena because of their faith. They feel compelled to do so. In fact, it's pretty easy if somebody wants to find out if they're a sage con, they can actually take a poll or a very quick survey. They can text sage con, S-A-G-E-C-O-N, to 67742, 67742. These are people who are on the life issue, the family issue, this transgender issue. These are issues that they care about because it affects their families. It affects their communities. And that's why these are, these are important issues, these voters. And it's important that the candidates 
discuss these issues and make clear their positions. And I think last night the president did a good job in drawing the contrast between himself and Kamala Harris on the host of these issues. All right, and real quick here, Tony, uh, you guys have a major convention coming up, uh, the Pray Vote Stand Conference in D.C. Uh, tell us about that, that important conference coming up in our nation's capital. Well, and Todd Starnes is going to be there and be a part of that. That is the uh, Pray Vote Stand Summit uh, here in Washington, D.C., October the 3rd through the 6th. And uh, you can find out more by going to prayvotestand.org, prayvotestand.org. Lots of folks will be here and be a part of this. As we pray for our nation, we prepare to vote, and then we, we just declare we're resolute that we're going to stand for truth, regardless of what the outcome may be. All right, Tony Perkins, Family Research Council. Tony, thank you.